Jacksonville, Florida, where the fans have gathered in expectation of what should be a great game between Arizona and Jacksonville. Now we'll head over to Tom Hammond and Chris Collinsworth for the start of the game. Guys? We couldn't have asked for a better day for football as we get ready for today's game. Welcome, everyone. Tom Hammond and Chris Collinsworth here with a call. Arrington from the six. Chris, this looks to be a good one. We should see both of these teams trying to establish a good balance on offense in this one. Whoever can do that should be able to win this thing. James alone in the backfield. Sets up the play action. Gets the throw off. Tackled at the 45. They get a nice pick up there. Yeah, but he better be careful with those throws. That was pretty tight coverage. They got away with it that time, but I don't know in the future. Looks to pass. With a pass. And he catches it. Brought down at the 42. The defense just didn't match up well on that play. Yeah, tough to match up one-on-one -on -one in man coverage against that wide receiver. He's pretty good. Hands it to the back. He's brought down around the 40-yard line. James gets about a yard on the play. We've got second and nine here. Ball on the 40-yard line. They'll go from the shotgun. Leinert will look to pass. Scans the field. Pass is complete. To the 10. Into the end zone for a touchdown. That pass just went for six points. What a play. And that's really all about timing right there. When you have a big touchdown pass like that, you know it's perfectly executed and thrown right on time, and that was well done. The kick is up. Point after is good. And here's your drive summary for that last series. Excellent kick here. They get him at the 25. And their offense will come onto the field for the first time in this game, already down a touchdown. Let's see what they do with the play calling here. The last thing you can afford to have happen right now after that big drive is to go three and out. Fakes the run. Pass completed. Tackle about the 43-yard line. That pass is good for a first down. And he had some zip on that one, didn't he? He reared back and threw that one about as hard as he could. The Jaguars line up with 3-1. North cut the man in motion. Looks to pass. He's under a heavy rush. Brought down at about the 39-yard line. Nice little pitch and catch with the wideout. Patience for a wide receiver is just so key. He's able to manipulate that defense, set him up one play, come back with the exact same look and break off of it the next. Beautifully run. Drops back to pass. Looks down the field. Throws it short. Out of bounds, incomplete. The quarterback led the receiver just a little too much. Yeah, he put a little too much on that pass and forced the receiver to make the catch out of bounds. Passes on the move. He steps out at about the 33-yard line. Good read of the defense on that pass play. Yeah, and throws like that really settle a quarterback down. It's all about getting into the flow of a game, and you can see he's getting comfortable now. Looking to throw. Gets the pass away. And he catches it off the tip. Good job to avoid the rush and get the pass off. When you're trying to blitz the quarterback, you better have some talented corners on the outside because as a wideout, 
Just give me three or four seconds against the blitz, and it is awfully tough to try and cover that. Taylor, the ball carrier. He makes a move, and he's brought down. A five-yard gain. That'll bring up second down. Lining up with three wide. Gerard calls for motion left. Throws a bullet. Finally makes the tackle, and it will be first and goal. That play is good for eight yards and a first down. It's like playing a game on the outside. It really is. The more of those short little throws you have, especially for first downs, the more tempted those defensive backs are to come up and try and make a play, and it gives the offense a chance to break a big one. The halfback with the carry. They'll get in for the touchdown. Whoa, how about that little juke move out there? That's just a shake, a little bake, and stick it in for the touchdown. And this for the time. Up and good. And now we'll take a quick look at the drive summary. The kick is away. Taken at the five. He's hammered at the 27-yard line. And they take the field with one thing on their mind, another scoring drive. The Cardinals set up in the gun. And they use mo Go, 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 go! Looks to pass. Throws it short. There for the reception. Drop behind the line. He stopped behind the line for a loss of one. That play was really all about defensive pursuit. They saw the ball thrown. They got there quickly for a loss on the play. Setting up play action. Defender tips it away. The defender was able to get a hand on it. And really, that came as a result of pretty physical play at the line of scrimmage. They're banging these guys around and not letting them get into their routes. Liner drops to throw. Comes down with it. He's tackled at the 39-yard line. That one worked just as they drew it up. Good pass, good catch, I agree. Sometimes there's really nothing you can do as a defense to stop a well-executed pass play. Play fake. He's sacked. Perfect time to bring extra rushers on the blitz that time. You know, we talk about timing on offense all the time, but when you play against this defensive coordinator, he is going to consistently throw your offense off balance because of all the blitzes he's going to throw at him. You have to anticipate blitz on every snap when you play against this guy. Looking to throw. Strong throw to his left. Smith gets the interception. He's brought down at the 32-yard line. Well, he looked like he was in the right place at the right time. Unless you're the quarterback, then he was in the wrong place at the wrong time. One man backfield. Gains his way to the 19 yard line. And that was a nice job to pick up the first down. Nothing makes a defensive coordinator cringe more than seeing that kind of run because then it sets up the play action and there's almost no way to stop an offense if you can't stop the run and you have to deal with play action. Defense closing in. Hit him in the hands, but he can't hang on. And not a good throw that time. He forced it right into coverage. Well, this is a guy who's known for taking some risks, but that was an unnecessary risk there. Lucky that wasn't intercepted. Man in motion. He's dropped around the 14-yard line. Four, maybe five yards on the run. 
They'll come out with three wide receivers. He's looking to throw. The pocket is collapsing. Falls incomplete. Lewis was the intended receiver and he can't bring it in. Fourth down. They'll line up the field goal unit here. This one is from 31 yards out. He's got it. He put that one right through the upright. And we'll take a quick look at the drive summary. Decent kick. He'll return it from the six. Brought down at the 26-yard line. The quarterback leads his offense back onto the field after turning it over on their last drive. Drops back to pass. Throws it. He couldn't hang on to it. And the defender breaks up the play. Just great position that time on the defensive side. The receiver really never had a chance on that one. The backfield is in the offset eye formation. Hands it to the back. He'll be brought down behind the line of scrimmage. The defense seemed to do everything right there. And you love to see those linebackers playing downhill like that. Not just flowing sideline to sideline, but attacking and trying to get in the backfield. Back to throw. Guns it to the middle. And they get him at the 46-yard line. Oh boy, that's a nice play on third down. Clutch play by the receiver that time on third down. As a receiver, you really have to just flat out want the ball in that situation. You can tell that this guy really does. He's running out of time. What an open field tackle. Pretty nice pickup on the pass that time. And that's simply good design and execution on the pattern. They work hard all week in practice to make sure that on game day, they have that timing down perfectly. Looking to throw. Short throw to the left. The defender gets him to the ground. You know, it's really easy to overlook those big guys on the line, but they did a good job picking up the blitz there. Yeah, that's a great call, Tom, because when you get a blitz package like that and your offensive line can first of all figure it out and then get it blocked, it's very tough to cover one-on-one -on -one in the secondary. They're going to pitch it. Brought down behind the line. Tried to find something, but there wasn't anything there for him. Yeah, not anything at all. And as a running back, you're probably going back to the huddle going, uh, guys, uh, a little help, please? Arizona lines up in the offset eye this time. He drops back. Rifles it right. Brought down at the 28-yard line. He gunned that one in there for the first down, didn't he? He really did. And when you watch a guy throw a ball that hard, they don't move their arm any faster. You see him driving off that back leg. That was a pretty pass. Fakes the run. He passes short. Goes out of bounds at the 23-yard line. Short pattern results in a completion for the offense. You know, that's not one of those plays that's a huge gain by any means, but that's really the essence of an offensive game plan. You have to start hitting some of those short, intermediate routes, and that begins to open everything else up. And he will lose yardage on the play. Big time play by the defensive end. Yeah, and we know defensive ends are probably some of the most athletic guys in the league, and typically you think about them getting after the quarterback, but that time he used his athleticism to make a big stop in the run. Looks to pass. Here's the throw, and it's caught. He's tackled at the 19. And that will end up just a little bit short, Chris, but still a pretty nice pass. 
Nice pass, but it's still fourth down. But if I know this offensive coordinator and this head coach, I'm thinking they may go for it here. They've had a big successful play. Why not take advantage of it with this one? Set down. The kick is up. He's got it. Here's a quick look at the drive summary. Great kick here. Hit and dropped at the 25. So before the offense hits the field, let's take the time to let you know that our game is brought to you by EA Sports. Taylor on the handoff. He took a shot at the 25. And the halfback has nowhere to go. Ouch. You take too many shots like that as a running back. You start peeking around a little bit before you get that football. Back to pass. He throws right. There for the catch. Tackled at the 33-yard line. Taylor gains seven yards with the catch. One man in the backfield. Fakes to the back. Passes to his left. He gets knocked out of bounds at the 42. A nice completion to the tight end. I always thought tight ends were sort of like pacifiers for babies, you know? Just about the time that you need a little security blanket, you know where to go. Not much time to throw. And he makes the tall grab. Not too bad a pass there. Not too bad at all. And sometimes those little touch throws are actually more difficult than the bullet passes. Kind of hard to come up with the timing to hit the receiver right in stride, but that was well thrown. What you doing? What? What? We got to play. They go with the run. Brought down at about the 41. A nice six-yard gain by the halfback. So second down now. The offense needs about four for the first. Drops back, looking for a receiver. It's completed. He's pushed out around the 35-yard line. Williams gains seven yards and a first with the catch. And that one keeps this drive going. Nice play that time by the quarterback and the receiver. Left, 21. Let's go. Let's go. Jones moves in motion. Another run. He's hammered in the backfield, Taylor, and he'll lose yards on the counter. The counter is one of those calls that we're seeing less and less of in the National Football League for the reason you just saw, that penetration by a good defensive line or speed at the linebacker position can really shut that play down. On the run, he throws it. Deflected and broken up. The pass was deflected and swatted away by the defender. I think the quarterback may have had to throw that ball a little sooner than he wanted to. The pressure was starting to get there. Drops back. Throws out right. Hood gets the pick. Stiff arms, and the defender still makes the tackle. What an interception by the cornerback. You know, some of these corners are just freakish athletes right now. Oftentimes, they're the best athletes on the field. Maybe they don't have the skill set, great hands, great moves, whatever, but they are definitely among the fastest in the NFL. They line up at the 38. Liner comes up to the line. Three wide receivers split out wide. Let's go, let's go, let's go, baby. Get the ball up. 
Back to pass. Looks right. Throw. He's dropped at about the 47-yard line. They get about 10 yards there. Second and less than a yard. Ball on the 48-yard line. Gives to the back. Fumble. Meyer recovers the loose ball. And the defense comes up with a big play there. Well, the number one rule for a halfback is you have to be able to hold on to the football. All the statistics show you turn it over and you're going to lose. Little handoff. He's dropped for a loss. Loss of one there for the halfback. Second down, 11 yards for a first. Ball on the 49. Here's the pass. He's tackled at the 39-yard line. He's hitting his marks today, and that last pass gives him 100 yards through the air. When I spoke to him before the game, he said he had a bit of a virus during the week. Uh, fortunately for his team, it doesn't look like it. Maybe the rest of them need to catch a little case of the flu. Hands it to the back. Brought down around the 38-yard line. The halfback picks up a yard. The Cardinals bring in the nickel package. Drops back to pass. Moves to his right. And he catches another. And they get him about the 25-yard line. He puts something extra on that throw, and it'll keep the chains moving. And that's really what it takes sometimes, because defenders are so quick out there. If you don't put a little extra pop on it, they can get there. Here's the give. Great open field tackle. And that's a gain of about eight. That brings up second down. And so at the end of the first quarter, we're all even. It's second and two. Gerard is under center. Only one in the backfield this time. Here's the halfback. He's brought down at the 13. Taylor gains about four yards. That'll be enough for the first. Single set backfield. Again, he'll get the call. He didn't get back to the line. He lost some valuable yardage on that run. And typically you can tell if a counter is going to work or not based on whether those offensive linemen are able to turn the corner and start going up the field. If the penetration hits those guys in the backfield, very seldom will the counter work. Taylor off the left side. Stiff arms, and he's brought down. Taylor gains about two yards on the run. Man, oh man, that's what those defensive guys live for right there. A shot like that. And then they always get up and have a little something to say to you as you're going back to the huddle. He drops back. He throws a bullet out to his right. Not much room to throw into, and it's intercepted. If I was this quarterback, I might start to throw away from this defender. You better be careful throwing it in the zone of this guy. He is on it, and he is quick. He's on his game today. on play action. What a hit! They really have to find a way to pick up the blitz better than that. Nice call by the defensive coordinator there. Had the blitz in the perfect situation. More and more now offenses want to spread it out, 
get a bunch of receivers out in a pattern, and you pay the price on the blitz. Liner back to throw. Gets the pass off. Knocked loose. Bolden wasn't able to bring it in. Incomplete pass on the play. Third and long passing situation here. Ball on the 20 yard line. The Cardinals come out in a shotgun set. Hope goes in motion. He's looking to throw. Gets it off. And he caught it. He's dropped around the 32 yard line. They complete the pass on third and long, but they'll end up short of the marker. You can see the confidence level of this defense. They know they can make open field tackles, and that's probably one of the great lost arts in the game. The ability to make the tackle in the open field and stop them short of the first down. Good play defensively there. Gets the punt away. Northcutt fields it at the 30. And they get him at about the 35-yard line. On his last drive, the quarterback completed a pass, but to the other team. Throwing another one could be disastrous to this offense. Lewis in motion. Play action. He's going to take off. He scrambles and picks up five. Second and five. Ball on the 41. The backfield is in the offset I formation. He's looking to throw. Throws on the run. Tackled at the 47-yard line. That one worked pretty well. It sure did, and I wish all our fans could see what's happening down the... Because so much of the game now is won and lost in the secondary. He drops back with the pass. And he dropped him in the open field. And the defense just ate that one up, Chris. Yeah, you're not going to fool this defense on plays like that very much. At least he got the ball out of there, though. Offset eye formation in the backfield. Stay inside right here. Blue 45. Stay in your lane. Blue 45. Let's get off. Let's go. Ah. Setting up play action. Short pass to his left. And he's out at the 45. He stopped behind the line for a loss of one. You know, sometimes as a quarterback, you have to be careful about dumping it down too quickly. Stand in there, see what you've got working down the field. That time they were all over that quick throw. Gerard back to pass. He's been perfect on this drive. He makes another catch. Nice pass play. And when the quarterback's throwing one that hard as a receiver, you almost feel like you need to put on a catcher's mask. That would look dangerous coming down the pipe. Two extra defensive backs out there on this one. They'll throw on first down. Passes. Steps out at the 16. Pretty nice throw on that play. And a pretty good catch on the other end, too. That's one of those plays that's quickly becoming one of the staples in this offensive passing attack. He wasn't set when he threw. Jones was the intended receiver, but the pass fell incomplete. They'll line it up again on third down. The backfield is in the offset I formation. Fakes to the back. He's brought down right around the 14-yard line. And for as good of a catch as that was, this offense now has to deal with a fourth down. Trying to take the lead by a field goal. and right down the middle. Well, that one looked like it was going wide, but it barely made it in. That one just made it inside the upright. That's one where you see the field goal kicker going. But he got it. Arrington takes it at the four. 
at the 30. He's hammered at the 35. The offense takes the field, hoping to put something together after their last drive ended in a three and out. James, the lone back. Give to the tailback. And he's drilled at the 39-yard line. James picks up about four yards on the play from their own 39-yard line. Arizona goes with the ace set here. James gets the carry. Brought down right around the 40-yard line. A two-yard run by the halfback. Arizona lines up in the offset eye this time. They tackle him for a loss. Excellent job by the defense to force a three and out. Always thought the most important portion of any drive was that first first down. It gives you a little offensive momentum going, but anytime you go three and out, it is so tough on your defense a lot of times, three and outs translates to points against your team and a tired defense. Punts it. Northcutt takes it at the 25. Tackled at the 34. The offense takes the field, hoping to come away with more than just a field goal on this drive. The Jaguars come out in a shotgun set. On the delay. He's tackled at the 38. Taylor gains about four yards on the play. It's second and six coming up. Ball on their own 38. They'll bring in their dime package. Reload, reload. Down side. Down side. Looks to pass. He throws it. He's there for the catch. Porter picks up about seven on the play. The completion is also good for first down. The key to those slant routes is for the quarterback to get the ball out of his hand quickly because as a receiver, you want to catch it and get your eyes on whoever the defender is coming at you before he has a chance to get that hit. Gerard Trent back to pass. Draw play. He's dropped at about the 47-yard line. Takes the handoff and responds with a seven-yard gain from the 48-yard line. They'll go from the I formation. They'll work the right side. And he makes it out to about the 47-yard line. Picked up maybe a foot or two, and that makes it third down. Offset I formation in the backfield. Takes to the back. Dumps it out right. Brought down at the 32-yard line. Pretty good gain right there. You have so many people on this offense that you have to account for. The tight ends, the wide receivers, the running backs, even the quarterbacks. And now they're throwing to the fullback. That's almost not fair. Another run. He makes his way to about the 22. The offensive line really got a good push there, allowing the back to pick up nine on the play. The Jaguars come out in the single back formation, three receivers wide. Makes a cut, and he will be hit and dropped. They continue to get first downs by running the ball. Pretty methodical approach right now for this offense. Not only are they picking up first downs and grinding out yards, but they're eating up a lot of time on the clock. They'll go with the run once again. He's going to be tackled for a loss. That was a big time play by a big time athlete. If you want to be considered one of the top cornerbacks in the National Football League, everybody has to be able to cover. But the top guys can not only cover, but come up and make big hits like that. Tremendous play. 
fakes to the back. Throws Wild on the run. What a hit. I don't think he even saw that guy. And he's crossed the century mark in receiving yards. This has been one heck of a performance. And Tom, I don't think he's finished yet. This is a guy that is on a roll right now, and this defense really doesn't have an answer for him. Gerard has completed every pass on this drive. And they get him there for the sack. And the blitz worked to perfection on that one. Yeah, you could say that. They just did a terrible job picking up the blitz there. And now as a defense, if you see an offense that's really struggling trying to pick up the blitz, what happens? You send it more and more and more. If they don't stop the blitz, it is going to be a long afternoon. Cuts back and he's dropped. Gain of seven, and so it'll be third down. Third down and goal to go situation. And this is the 12th play of the drive. Looks down the field. Green bats it away. And the pass was knocked away at the last minute. Well, at the end of the game, you go back and you basically say what happened on third down, and you have a pretty good indication of how that game came out. Good play by the defense. And it splits the uprights. Here's your drive summary for that last series. Kicks it off. He'll return it from the three. Brought down at the 26-yard line. The offense takes the field, and we'll see if they can put something together after their last drive ended with a three and out. James alone in the backfield. Leinert sends a man in motion. And the whistle will blow this one dead. Here's the call. Full start, offense. He moved a little early on that one. I used to always think that offensive linemen should go to the line of scrimmage and hold up either one finger or two fingers and look down when they get confused. Liner to the air on first down. He lays it out there. And they finally knock him out at the 47. An impressive showing by the wideout in the first half. He's already gone over 100 yards receiving. Not a lot of mystery to this offense, is there? They're going to get it to this wide receiver. They know what he's capable of doing. And there is some great communication going on, verbal and nonverbal, between the quarterback and the receiver out here in the first half. From their own 47-yard line. Offset eye formation in the backfield. Looks to pass. Rifles it out there. Oh, and he drops. Fitzgerald was the intended receiver, but they can't complete the pass. That brings up third and ten. Ball on the 47. Liner comes to the line. Three wide formation. Liner drops back. Gets the pass out. And the receiver has room to run. He's brought down right around the 32-yard line. Good pickup by the receiver. And we've always talked about this receiver's big play ability. He may not be the fastest guy in the league, but you can tell he wants the ball in his hands in big situations. They'll throw on first down. Makes the throw over the middle. It's picked off. And the safety made a really nice play on the ball to grab that interception. You know, this safety is known for his big hits, but that time it was his soft hands that made the difference. The backfield is in the offset eye formation. They go with the run. He's dropped at about the 21. The back gets three on the carry. Second and seven coming up here. Ball on their own 22. Taylor lines up as the deep back. I formation. Red 
He drops back to pass. And the defense has a heavy rush. Tackled right around the 26-yard line. Another positive game through the air. And it really helps when the quarterback gets the kind of protection he's getting so far in this one. This offensive line's doing a nice job building a pocket for this quarterback, and that's creating some nice passing lanes. Short throw to the right. And they get him at the 36-yard line. How about that pass? Well, they got caught in man-to-man -man coverage on that play, and I couldn't tell if the defender slipped a little bit or not. Maybe he just got beat on the play. Back to pass. Passes left. Makes the grab. They pick up solid yardage there. And I love to watch this wide receiver work. He is so patient with his routes. He gets down low into his cuts. And he really understands what the defense is trying to do to take him away. And he is working them over. He drops back to pass. Guns it left. He's dropped around the 45-yard line. He's there for the catch once again. That's number two on this offensive possession. Yeah, you hear all the time about quarterbacks getting into a rhythm, but sometimes a quarterback and a receiver can get into a rhythm where the quarterback begins to look to one guy a little bit more because he feels more comfortable, and I think that's beginning to happen now. Gerard is looking to stay perfect on this drive. He's dropped for the sack. They have to find a way to provide better protection for him. You're absolutely right. There was not a very good blocking scheme on that one. If you can't get him blocked with five guys, you got to start leaving in six, maybe even seven. These are tremendous pass rushers in this game today. Surveys the field. Hasn't missed yet on this drive. A good play to the tight end that time. And tight ends are so big that as coverage people, it's tough to figure out how to defend them. If you're on their left side, they throw it to their right side. If you're behind them, they throw it in front. Tight ends are tough to cover. Single back formation, three wide receivers. They motion to the right. Drops behind the line. He tries to wriggle away, but he's stopped for a loss. Well, Tom, the offensive line just didn't get any push there. They've got to do a better job knocking those guys off the line of scrimmage. Lewis is the man in motion. Drops back. Moves up in the pocket. Makes the catch. Brought down at the 32-yard line. Pretty good read on that play to find the open man. And that's an area where he excels. He works his way through his progressions quickly and doesn't hesitate when he sees the receiver break free in coverage. Gerard has completed every pass on this drive. Rifles this one out to the right. Huge hit and a big catch by the tight end. And I can tell you this, there's nothing that defensive backs hate more than to have one of those big tight ends in the open field running right towards them. Gerard drops back. He throws short. Tackle at the 12. Seven yard gain on the play. Those slant routes against zone coverage, you find out what kind of man you are in a hurry because you never know who's going to hit you on one of those. Solid kick that time, and he puts it right through the uprights, converting for the field goal. He gets his leg into this one. Brought down at the 30. And as we head to halftime, our score is the Jaguars, 19, the Cardinals, 10. Here's the kick. From his own goal line. Stays on his feet. He's hammered at the 31. So as the offense heads back onto the field, we'll take this time to remind you that our game is brought to you by EA Sports. If it's in the game, it's in the game. Here we go. 
On the ground with a tailback. He's dropped at about the 31. Not a lot on that play. Well, that was the perfect time for them to call a blitz. They got in there, filled up all the gaps, brought down the running back for a short game. Gerard comes up to the line. Three wide receivers split out wide. Back to throw. Huge pressure by the defense. He decides to run. And they get him at the 33-yard line. He scrambled and maybe picked up a yard there. That'll bring up third down with eight yards to go. There are four wide receivers split out. The quarterback in the gun. Looking for an open man. Roll intercepts it. Tackle around the 39-yard line. Nice pick for the safety. You could see the quarterback that time trying to look the safety off, but this safety is simply too smart. He was having none of it and jumped in front to make the interception. Liner calls for motion right. Play fake. And it's completed. He's tackled at the 24-yard line. They pick up several yards there on the pass. And that fake really was the difference. Not only did the quarterback sell it, the running back sold it, the offensive line did, and the receiver was open for a nice play. Drops back to pass. They get to it. The offensive line seemed to have a tough time picking up their blocks on that play. It almost looked like the offensive line didn't know who to block on that one. Sometimes the best part of blitzing is you create situations where the offensive line have to all think, have to all be on the same page. One guy messes up and it's over. He's brought down at the 21-yard line. So they pick up quite a few yards on that play. Yeah, really a nice route that time. One of the keys to playing wide receiver is the ability to not only get into cuts, but to get out of the cuts. That time, very explosive coming out of that cut, and it made the difference. He throws on the run. Out of bounds, right around the eight yard line. A decent gain on the pass. And that's good quarterback play. He recognized the blitz. He understood what was happening with the coverage behind it and found the open man. They give it to the tailback, and they get him at the nine. Gain of under a yard, and that will bring up second down. Second down, goal to go. Ball on the nine-yard line. Arizona comes out with an eye formation. Play fake. Rolling right. Catch is made. He's pushed out around the four-yard line. Just a short, efficient throw that time. Yeah, a true sign of patience on the offensive side. You let the play develop. You find uh, the open receiver. Maybe he takes a look down the field. It's not there. Just go ahead and take that safe throw. On the ground with a tailback. He doesn't get back to the line. He was caught with nowhere to go. This is a pretty good running back, and if you can hit him up like that, it's pretty impressive. He's got it. I had my doubts about that kid. Yeah, he just squeezed that one in there, didn't he? I'm sure he's going to be exhaling for about the next 30 seconds. He kicks it. Drop at the 27. Quarterback threw a pick on their last drive. Let's see if he's able to shake it off. Gerard is under center. I formation this time. Here's the halfback. He lost yardage on the play. He couldn't get anywhere on that one. Yeah, sometimes you just have to admit defeat on a play as a running back and just try and get that thing back to the line of scrimmage. Only one man back. He'll get it again. Tackle around the 29-yard line. Two-yard pickup. That'll bring up third down. 
They line up at the 29. Gerard lines up in the shotgun. Three receivers wide this time. He drops back, scans the field with the catch. He's tackled around the 41-yard line. And a nice pick up there. Nice play that time. The defense came with the blitz there. He made a good read, delivered a nice ball in there to the open man. Jacksonville goes with the ace set here. Drops back on first down. Flips it out short. He dropped it. He threw that one right into coverage. Well, you can't just stare down one receiver on a play like that. The defense is going to be all over it. He was lucky he didn't get picked off there. He's looking to throw. Throws off his back foot. He's brought down at the 49-yard line. A pickup of about seven. Little seven-yard throws like that have really become the staple of the National Football League. So many defenses now not allowing the big throws down the field. You have to be willing to take throws just like that. He fakes it, passes it, is there for the catch. Brought down at the 37. And a nice pass to the tight end. So much of the game today revolves around those substitution packages, trying to bring extra defensive backs on the field to try and help against the pass. But when you have a big receiving tight end, that really makes that plan awfully tough to execute. Let's go, let's go right, right, right. They'll give it off here. He's dropped right around the 36 yard line. The running back gets about a yard, maybe less. They line up with one running back in the backfield, three wide. They go with the pitch to the right. He's hammered in the backfield. Nice stop on that one. Yeah, great defense at the point of attack, but also very impressive, the pursuit to the ball. They were all coming there. He's looking to throw. The pocket is collapsing. And he's decleated at the 34. Despite the great effort, it will still bring up fourth. It's fourth down, and the punt unit onto the field to kick it away. He punts it. It'll go out at the 13-yard line. You have to like it when your punter can pin the ball inside the 20 like that. Now this has got to be one of the tougher punts to make here. It's so easy to get a little too much on the kick, sending it into the end zone for a touchback. He did a great job hitting it just right on that one. Tipped away. Bolden was his intended target on that one, but they can't complete the pass. From their own 13-yard line. James alone in the backfield. Man in motion. Leinert will hand it off. And he will lose yardage on the play. The defense just ate up that play. Well, those defenders get paid too, and every once in a while they win the battle. Clearly that time they were all over this offensive line. Back to throw. Passes the ball. Leaping catch. He's brought down about the 15-yard line. The third down pass got them good yardage, but not quite enough to convert. Yeah, that was a tough third down situation. They got the good completion, a good gain on the play, but probably asking too much out of the receiver to try and break that many tackles to pick up that first down. He punts it. Northcutt fields it at the 46. He's tackled at the 47-yard line. Once again, we'll take this opportunity to remind you that this game is brought to you by the fine folks at EA Sports. Hey, 
Regular, regular. Richmond, I need a weasel. I need a weasel. Bang, bang. Move on. They give it to the tailback. And they get him at about the 45-yard line. That's a two-yard gain. Well, that time the outside linebacker came on the run blitz. They got some penetration and shut down the play. Jacksonville lines up in the offset eye this time. Fakes to the back. Looks down the field. Passes the line. Tackle at the 40. He scrambles and picks up five. The Jaguars line up with an offset eye backfield. Short throw to the left. He's tackled around the 31 yard line. Nice pass play. It really was in the 80s that we first started seeing offenses throwing the ball to the fullback. You know, for so many years, those guys were just big blockers. There's a play fake. Gets rid of the ball. It's loose. Scooped up by one of the corners. The receiver should have held on to that one. Wide receivers are pretty good at catching the football. They're not always good at running with the football. It takes a lot of strength to hold on to that ball, and he gave it up. The offense will take over at the 21. James, the lone back. He's dropped for a loss. It looked as if the offensive line just collapsed. And it looked like this defensive line just beat him off the snap. Sometimes those guys can time out the quarterback's cadence. And if the quarterback doesn't start changing that snap count, his offensive line is going to really struggle. Liner will look to throw. Defense closing in. Brings it in. He's brought down at about the 29-yard line. They hook up for a pretty good gain on that one. Nice pass. Yeah, good pass and good confidence by the quarterback there. He saw the opening. He knew there was a spot that he could get that in there. But you could see he had the confidence to let this receiver make a play. And that's really what pro football is all about. Great job to haul in that first down pass. This team is just so good at executing those short, quick passes and picking up first downs and keeping drives alive. Ho goes in motion to the left. Drops back on first down. Mathis has the interception. Why did he even make that pass? Yeah, you know, Tom, I think he got baited into that throw. He thought the defensive back was going elsewhere. He did a little fake, came back in, made the pick. Just a real heads-up play. They keep it on the ground with the tailback. Hit and drop behind the line. He just didn't have a whole lot of blocks to work with on the counter. And you have to be able to get that counter play going. When the penetration gets there and it forces those offensive linemen to go back just a little bit deeper, it throws off the timing of the entire play. Taylor gets another carry, and he makes it out to about the 44-yard line. The back gets three on the carry. Not very often in a game does a defender get a clean shot like that on a running back. Typically, the running back didn't see it coming to take that kind of a shot. Look throw. Throws it short. Completed. Defense pushes him out of bounds right around the 40-yard line. So, it's fourth down. The Jaguars lining up to punt. He punts it. 
This one's going to go out of bounds at the 20. Not much you can do on the return team there. Great kick and even better coverage. Boy, it sure makes winning the field position battle a lot easier when you have special teamers like this. He throws left, brings this one in, and he's hammered at the 25, gain of five through the air. Yeah, very safe, simple play, hitting the underneath receiver for a solid game. Arizona lines up in the offset eye this time. He drops back to pass, rockets it out. Can't stay in bounds, incomplete pass. The receiver was out of bounds when he made the catch. Not a perfectly timed throw that time. Held on to it just a little too long and led the receiver out of bounds. Tennessee, Tennessee. Man in motion. Play action. Throws to his left. He's tackled right around the 34-yard line. That was a big-time play by the receiver. And talking to this receiver earlier this week, he told me he had a lot of plays in the playbook, and he thought he was going to have a big day. He's looking to throw. Dumps it out left. Makes the reception. Cole picks up about three with the catch. It's second down and seven to go. Ball on the 37-yard line. Three wide receivers on the field. The quarterback in the shotgun. Hands it to the back. He'll be brought down behind the line of scrimmage. No one picked up the linebacker, and it cost them. And when your defensive line can handle their guys up front and not allow the offensive linemen to get down on the linebackers, it really gives those linebackers a chance to look great. He's looking to throw. Rifles it to the right. Loose football. And they fall on the ball. That was a huge turnover. What a tremendous play by the defense. You really began to get the feeling this offense was getting something going. They stripped the football out of there and kill the drive kill the momentum. Taylor on the inside handoff. He's dropped at the 44-yard line. Taylor gets six yards on the carry. Second and four now. Ace backfield this time. He's looking to throw. Short throw to the left. And they get him at the 39-yard line. He laid it in there perfectly. That was a well-thrown ball. And we talk so much about arm strength for the quarterback position, but sometimes you have to be able to put a little touch on it, and that was pretty. He'll get it again. They tackle him for a loss. Tried the run, but there was nothing available. And if you can make a running back hesitate just a little, that time you could see there really was no hole, and the running back was just fishing for a place to go. Garrard with three wide receivers. He's dropped. That's one way to disrupt the passing game. Yeah, it's hard for him to complete a pass when he's lying flat on his back. Right now, you have to change strategies offensively. Got to get the ball out of there a little bit quicker. You can't allow teams to intimidate your offense with a blitz. Looks left. Throw. Brought down at about the 29-yard line. A solid gain on that pass play, but it'll still be short of the first down. And there's really nothing a defense likes better than those third and long situations where they can play passively. They don't have to worry about giving up the big play. Just come up and make the tackle. Good hit that time. Good solid tackle. Kick is up. 
and it splits the uprights. And that was not an easy kick, Chris. Yeah, it looked like a little adrenaline kicked in on that one, didn't it? Maybe even surprised him how far he hit that one. He kicks it. He's hammered at the 32-yard line. So before the offense hits the field, let's take the time to let you know that our game is brought to you by EA Sports. Drops back, throws it short. It's incomplete. He caught that one out of bounds. Well, you could see the receiver doing all he could to keep his feet in bounds, but that pass just let him out of bounds. Back to throw. Gets the throw away. Tackled at the 40. Another completed pass puts him over the 300-yard mark. Well, he's certainly done his part, but the rest of the team's going to have to step things up a notch or two. Arizona lines up with three receivers in the shotgun formation. They'll throw for the first. Surveys the field. And he catches it. He's dropped around the 45-yard line. Nice job getting that pass out of there, and he picks up the first down. Yeah, smart play call that time by the offense. He could tell by the pre-snap read that short throw was going to be there, and he took advantage. Arizona comes out with three receivers in the shotgun. Looking to throw. Short throw. Pass is complete. Goes out of bounds right around the 44-yard line. Nice job of shutting down the first down pass. Yeah, it looked like that time the defense knew exactly what was coming. They were right there from the outset to make that play. Back to throw. Throws on the run. And they get him at the 38. That was a good looking throw. Yeah, great throw, but maybe even a better read. He understood by watching what the defense did after the snap of the football, exactly where to go with that ball. Drops back to pass. He throws left. Batted away. And it's batted away at the last minute by the defender. Just when it looked like the quarterback might sneak that one in there, a late pass defense and a good play. The defense lines up with five defensive backs. Liner will look to throw. Rifles it left. Brought down at the 31. Pickup of about seven. So another third down upcoming for the offense. Offset I formation in the backfield. They'll throw for the first. Short throw to the right. Hit hard at the 23-yard line. Fitzgerald picks up around seven or so with that catch. Good enough for a first down. Nice throw by the quarterback that time, and this offense keeps this drive alive. Three first downs now on this one. First down, looking to throw. Throws out to the right. Out of bounds, incomplete. They went with a sideline pass, but he couldn't stay in bounds. And that would have been a spectacular catch if he'd been able to come up with that one, just thrown a little bit too far outside. Drops back to pass. On the run, he throws it. Bolden was his intended target on that one, but they can't complete the pass. The defense is really struggling on third down here. The offense is two for two on this drive. Back to throw. Looking for an open man. Tight coverage, and it's picked off. And he scores, what a play! And just like that, they make it a two-possession game. What a tremendous return that was, and even better, now you have a little breathing room when you look up at that scoreboard.
They'll go for two in this situation. They put everyone up on the line. Gerard looking to throw. Past the line. He gets the two-point conversion. Great job there. They were able to convert. And you could tell the offense had a plan throughout that drive. Not only did they get the touchdown, but they immediately got the call in for the two-point conversion. They knew exactly what they wanted to do and executed it perfectly. They get him at the 31. The quarterback and his receiver were clearly not on the same page last time, and it led to an interception. The backfield is in the offset I formation. Drops back. He needs to get rid of it. Leinert is going to be sacked for a loss. What can they do to put a stop to this guy getting to the quarterback? Sack number two on the day now, and you can see his confidence growing. There comes a point in the game sometimes when you're playing against somebody that you just know you're better than that guy. And right now, the confidence is growing leaps and bounds. Pretty nice read on that play to find the open man. Yeah, the two of them really have been working hard, building a rapport in practice, and now you're starting to see some of those results out here on the field. Drops back to pass. Goes through his read. Goes out of bounds right around the 38-yard line. So that was a pickup of about nine. And they'll keep the offense out there on fourth down. Hope the man in motion. Looks to pass. He's under pressure. They didn't get it. They'll get the ball here at the 39-yard line. Jacksonville goes with the ace set here. Tackle around the 36-yard line. Three yards on the run. Second and seven. Ball on the 36-yard line. Arizona lines up with five defensive backs. Defense is getting pressure. He's going to be tackled for a loss. He stopped short of the line on the play. He just couldn't make anything happen after he brought it in. Good job by the defense. Little handoff. He's brought down at the 32-yard line. The halfback gets the ball and picks up five. The Jaguars are lining up to punt it away. Podles to punt. Punts it. Through the end zone for a touchback. They failed to convert on fourth down the last time they had the ball. Back to pass. Scans the field. Pass completed. Brought down at the 41-yard line. How about the nice touch on that ball? Touch that time by a quarterback who really is known more for his arm strength. James lines up as the deep back. High formation. First down, looking to throw. There for the reception. He delivered a nice throw on that drop back, completing it for a pretty good game. You know, there aren't many guys who work any harder than this guy, both in the offseason and during the week of practice. He isn't the most physically gifted quarterback I've ever seen, but you can tell the time he puts in in the film room, in the weight room, and he understands the game of football. He makes the catch wide open. He just couldn't make anything happen after bringing that one in. And that play is really all about the closing speed on defense. They'll let you have the completion, but then they close quickly and make the play. He throws it. 
and he has been his go-to guy on the drive. So on third down, he finds his receiver and gets a big game. Receivers who can make plays like that on third down tend to have nice, long careers. Hands it off. He's dropped at about the 35-yard line. Maybe a yard on the run by the halfback. Nickel defense. Liner drops back to pass. He hasn't missed a pass on this drive. He's simply putting on a passing clinic out there. Yeah, and this defense should have to pay for admission to this clinic because I tell you what, he is teaching them a thing or two about playing offensive football. No matter what this defense does to try to stop them, they simply cannot. First down, looking to throw. Tries for the end zone. Makes the catch. Touchdown. How can the defense keep him out of the end zone, Chris? That was his second score of the game. You know, Tom, they're trying to get physical with him. They're trying to beat him up a little bit, but he's too quick. He just keeps eluding the defenders. Every time they try to get physical with him, he ends up scoring a touchdown. Up and good. And now we'll take a quick look at the drive summary. Decent kick. Fielded at the four. They get him at the 31. They couldn't do anything against this defense on their last drive, and they were forced to punt. The backfield is in the offset I formation. He looks to throw on first down. Huge pressure by the defense. Drops the easy picks, and he just managed to get a piece of it. Nice play by the defender. And as a receiver, you really have to do a better job of coming back to the football at that point. You have to help the quarterback. It's the fullback. And he just got hammered. That run picked up a yard, maybe less, and that makes it third down. Offset I formation in the backfield. Here's a handoff left side. What a brutal hit. He did what he could, but it still won't be enough for a first down. And defensively, they'll give you a run like that. I mean, it's third down and long situation. And if you want to simply hand the ball off, take it. We'll let you punt the football and we'll go back and drink some uh, little water. He punts it. It'll go out at the 38-yard line. Their passing game led to a touchdown on their last drive, and you've got to think they won't deviate from what's been working. He looks to throw on first down. Gets the ball away. This pass is incomplete. Looked like he put a little too much on that one. Boy, that one was shot in there, too. I'm not sure anybody could have caught that one anyway. That thing just <laughs> never came down. Liner back to pass. Surveys the field. Comes down with it. And that one will go for a first. And really top-notch quarterbacks know how to throw a football in there without leading his receiver into trouble. That was a great throw. They'll throw on first down. Guns it out. Tackled at the 41-yard line. And you won't see the coaching staff complaining about that. Yeah, coaching staffs generally don't complain about too much when they have a quarterback that has the leadership qualities and the arm strength and the ability that this guy has. Throws it short, and it's caught. Defense pushes him out of bounds at the 45. That's a loss of four yards. Boy, that gets a little embarrassing. Anytime you spend all week working on a play and it comes out like that, <laughs> gives the defense a little credit, but that was bad. Hey, 
looking to throw. The pocket is collapsing. He's got to find a way to hold on. Hope was the intended receiver, but they can't complete the pass. Looks like they're going to go for it here on fourth down. Nickel defense. He drops back. Gets the pass away. And he's out of bounds, incomplete. Gerard is in the shotgun. He has four receivers split out wide. Gerard looking to pass. Throws short. He's brought down at the 49-yard line. Lewis gains four yards on that reception. So that'll make it second down. They line up in the I formation. On the ground with a tailback. He's dropped at the 43-yard line. This running back just showed off some nice ability there. Yeah, the offensive line did their job. They created enough of a seam to get him up into the secondary, and then he was able to explode from there. Taylor gets the carry right side. He's tackled around the 39-yard line. The back gets three on the carry. The Cardinals line up with a nickelback. Gives it off. Dropped behind the line. Nothing doing. They stop him for a loss. And I really like the discipline of this defense. You never see these guys trying to do too much. They control their gaps, and that time, there was nowhere to go. They hand it off. Brought down around the 33-yard line. Jones Drew gets eight yards on the play. It's fourth down. The Jaguars are lining up to punt this one away. It's away, and it's a booming punt. And it goes out of the end zone for the touchback. So as the offense heads back onto the field, we'll take this time to remind you that our game is brought to you by EA Sports. If it's in the game, it's in the game. Play action with the throw. It's tip. Fitzgerald was the intended receiver on the play, and it falls incomplete. They line up at the 20. James is the single setback. He drops back. Fires it out. There for the catch. He's brought down at the 39-yard line. And this receiver just loves it when the defense is in man coverage. Yeah, there's no better feeling than when you're coming off the ball and you know it's just you and the guy across from you. That's just good old-fashioned football, but you also know typically when you get man coverage, your quarterback is under pressure. James takes it left, and they get him at the 40. James gets about a yard on the play. Boy, he just took a shot on that one. As a running back, the last thing in the world you want is a short gain and a big hit. Drops back to pass. It's completed. Brought down at the 49-yard line. Nice grab on the play. His second catch of the drive. Yeah, and I'm going to expect to see a lot more passes to this guy. He's a good receiver. He's talented. He can make the catch and get upfield. But more importantly right now, this defense is creating some opportunities for him to catch the ball. The defender gets a hand on it, and that will bring up fourth down. I don't know if that's the guy I want to pick on on third down when you have to have a conversion. He is tough. He's brought down right around the 46-yard line. Big play on that fourth down attempt. Well, that was a chance for the defense there to essentially get a turnover. All they had to do is make a stop, give the ball back to their offense, couldn't get it done. He looks to throw on first down. 
Throws while on the run. He's tackled at the 41-yard line. Another positive game, and that gives him 100 yards receiving for the game. And you know, it's not just a couple of routes that he runs well. That's what makes him so tough. He can run the good underneath routes, but he can also take you over the top as well. So you have to give him those little throws. He drops back to pass. Dumps it out right. No connection there. James was the intended receiver, and he can't bring it in. Third down. Third and four. Ball on the 41-yard line. The Jaguars has all their DBs in for this five-wide set. He drops back. Makes the pass to the middle of the field. And the last man gets him. That's now 500 yards passing by the quarterback. Tom, I never enjoyed watching this. I've enjoyed watching this. I think those guys on defense, though, are about ready to go home. He drops back to pass. Looking for a receiver. Oh, and he has it go right through his hands. Second down now following the incomplete pass. The Cardinals line up with three receivers bunch. Back to pass. Goes through his read. Threw it right to him, but he can't hang on. A great play by the defense to knock the ball away. And these defenders have been close all day. You better be careful if you're the quarterback. One of those is going to turn into an interception. Back to throw. Looks down the field. And he caught it. He's dropped at the 13. Still not quite enough, however. They'll still be facing fourth down. The Cardinals changing their play at the line. Looks to pass. Looking for an open man. Interception, and that will seal their fate. Great catch by the linebacker. Not a smart throw from the quarterback. You know, it's hard to believe that you can lose a guy that big, but sometimes those linebackers dropping underneath in coverage Quarterbacks just don't see him, and he threw it right to him. On play action. He's going to run. And they get him right around the 18-yard line. They weren't ready for a run by the quarterback. Yeah, and the key is making that first pass rusher miss you. More often than not, there's one guy in your way. You can make that first guy miss. A lot of times those defenders have their backs turned and are running away from you. They line up at the 25. Jacksonville is going with the offset eye backfield. Taylor off the left side. Tackled at the 28-yard line. And he got it. That last rush put him over the 100-yard mark. They haven't been easy yards to pick up, but in a hard-fought game at the end of the day, especially in the second half, you start seeing running plays working a little bit better than maybe what they did in the first half when that defense was fresh and really flying around out there. The Jaguars line up with an offset eye backfield. And that will be the conclusion of this game. Our final score is the Jaguars 30, the Cardinals 20.